हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते एज द न्यू एकेडमिक ईयर बेकन्स द एकोज ऑफ स्कूल बेल्स रिजाउंड ए सिम्फनी ऑफ बिगिनिंग्स एंड वॉट बेटर जंक्चर दैन दिस टू डेल इन टू द सेक्रेट रोल वी एज पेरेंट्स प्ले इन शेपिंग द डेस्टनीज ऑफ अवर चिल्ड्रेन i am here before you as an advocate and a fellow traveler on this parenting odyssey as the managing director of the bharat bhavika foundation i have traversed countless corridors of conversation with parents yet permit me to revisit this vital theme a theme that pulses at the heart of our shared journey i made this speech last week in malayalam and was overwhelmed by the flood of responses some of my friends wanted me to talk in english so that the message reaches far and wide and so here i am with the message in english please lend me your ears i want to tell you about a event that happened during the civil service orientation camp organized by bhavika in chinmaya vidyalaya kasargod picture this a sunkiss morning the air pregnant with anticipation and parents gathering to collect their awards the young aspirants who had participated in the 3 day camp of bhavika and there in a corner stood a mother with her son waiting for someone all other parents said they collected their awards and went away but she still stood there waiting for someone curiously i asked her whom she was waiting for then she said sir she whispered my son used to hide in the kitchen cupboards when guests arrived doctors probed but none of them could suggest any solution they said he lacked exposure the very oxygen of the soul and so when news about the scam reached my ears i seized the opportunity and dragged him here unsure if it would even last an hour the ice breaking session unfolded like petals unfurling at dawn and there amidst the camaraderie of new friends her son stepped into the sun his laughter soared and his words danced upon the stage the mother's eyes brimmed with gratitude i don't know how to thank you she confessed you have spun magic sir my son who was an introvert is now a star but more than that he is a bud that blossomed a bud that found wings and so dear friends let us listen to the verses of edesheri the malayalam poet who wove dreams into syllables in his ode to the school he bared his heart i have no foresight he confessed to decide what my child shall become but within every child lies a bud a promise and our duty to wish that it blooms unfettered unscripted bhavika with its vision etched in stardust echoes this truth it beckons us to give our children roots deep nourishing roots that anchor them to culture language and heritage and wings that lift them toward the sun toward dreams yet uncharted as parents let us be gardeners of souls let us tend to these tender buds whispering stories of valor painting portraits of resilience and serenading them with the songs of our ancestors for in this delicate balance of roots and wings we gift our children the universe and so my dear friends 
let us pledge. May our children bloom, not as replicas, but as constellations, each unique, each radiant. May Bhavika be their compass, their North Star, and may our legacy be woven into their laughter, their courage, and their flight. Let me now list some of our duties and responsibilities. Education, my friends, is not a mechanical process. It is the ignition of flames. W. B. Eads, the poet, whispered this truth. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. Yes, let us set our children ablaze, not with wrought knowledge, but with the fire of curiosity, wisdom and wonder. In this era of uh, cosmic curiosity, our duty as guides is clear. We shall not preach. We shall not dictate. Instead, we shall walk alongside these seekers, our hearts echoing their questions. We shall be their fellow travellers, whispering tales of wonder, unraveling mysteries and urging them to explore new avenues of knowledge. Let me now talk about the vanishing art of reading. The reading habit are a fragile bloom threatened by screams and sound bites. But fear not, for we hold the key. Encourage them, nudge them toward books, the portals of other worlds. For even if they grow without reading, they shall merely exist. But if they read, they shall blossom, petals unfurling towards the sun. Now, let us mold respect into their hearts, the kind that bows before the teacher, the guru. Some teachers shall weave spells with their words, others may stumble. But never shall we allow our children to demean them. For there exists an ancient Sanskrit verse, an ode to the value of teachers. Let me quote. Aghanda mandalakaram vyaptam ena characharam atpadam darshide ena tasmai shri guruve nama. It beckons us to salute the Guru, the one who unveils the universe within every living and lifeless atom. And parents, listen well. Do not miss a chance to converse with these torchbearers of knowledge. Attend parent-teacher meetings, not as critics, but as partners. I recall my days in Delhi where I sat, earnest and wide-eyed, listening to the symphony of progress. Yet, I witnessed a curious spectacle, mothers comparing answer sheets, vying for more bucks. But let us remember this truth. Your child is unique, a constellation of dreams, fears and potential. Comparison is futile, Acceptance is grace. Parents should start by familiarizing themselves with the school's curriculum and the academic expectations set for the children. This involves understanding what subjects will be covered, the skills children are expected to develop, and the assessment methods that will be used. By doing so, parents can better understand what their children will be learning and how they can provide support at home. Attending school orientations, meeting with teachers early in the year and reviewing the school's resources or textbooks are excellent ways to achieve this. We need to establish a conducive learning environment at home, creating a home environment that enhances concentration and learning is crucial. This might mean setting up a dedicated study area where children can study without interruptions. The space should be well lit, quiet, 
and stocked with the necessary supplies like textbooks, notebooks and writing materials. Moreover, parents should establish a routine that includes specific times for homework and study, balanced with adequate time for rest and recreation. Mind you, if you insist that your child should wake up at 5 a.m., then you need to be the role model. You cannot snore away the morning hours and make your child steady. This helps inculcate a sense of discipline and time management in children. You need to stay engaged with the child's progress. Active engagement in a child's academic life involves more than just attending parent-teacher meetings. Parents should regularly check in with the children about what they are learning, the challenges they are facing and the feelings about school. This ongoing dialogue makes it easier to spot problems early and study them before they grow. Using a planner or a digital tool to track assignments and test dates uh, can also help parents stay up to date with a child's academic responsibilities. Next, we should encourage a growth mindset. Parents can help foster a growth mindset by encouraging their children to see challenges as opportunities to learn rather than obstacles that lead to failure. This includes praising effort rather than innate ability which motivates children to embrace learning and persist through difficulties. When parents model a love for learning, perhaps by engaging in their own educational pursuits or showing curiosity about the world, they set a powerful example for their children. Next, we should build emotional support and resilience. The academic year can bring various stressors for children, including performance pressure, social dynamics, and workload management. Parents need to be attuned to the emotional and mental well-being of the children. Building resilience can involve teaching, coping strategies, discussing emotions openly, and ensuring that the child knows that their worth is not solely dependent on academic success. Additionally, fostering strong relationships outside of academics through hobbies, sports, or family activities can provide necessary outlets for children. Friends, Imagine a tricycle, the friend wheel, the teacher, the rear wheels, the student and parent. When all three move in unison, in a coordinated dance, this tricycle propels forward. Education, my friends, is the delicate balance, a harmonious waltz of guidance, curiosity and trust. And so, let us light fires, sow seeds, and salute the gurus who shape destinies. For when the wheels turn together, when hearts beat in rhythm, education becomes not just a journey, but a symphony, a symphony of flames, of roots, and of wings. Thank you, and may our children's souls dance to this timeless melody. See you next week.